Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to this video on Full Self Driving Beta 11.4.4. I just got this at about 12.37 a.m. last night on June 20th. I'm really excited to show you this. I, I decided I'm gonna take a little bit of a different format. I'm gonna show you the highlights and start there and go through it very briefly in like four or five minutes. And then if you wanna watch the whole video, you can see it at the end. I'm gonna post everything afterwards. So on my first drive, I take it to two fast food restaurants, Wendy's and Dunkin' Donuts. On my way to Wendy's, it took a left turn with a very fast moving vehicle coming straight at me and it did an amazing job okay and one of them is going to be in an area where it slows down thinking there's a stop sign Ooh, it went for it wow that was really assertive did you see that <laughs> oh my gosh wow that gap was really really tight and it took it it committed and it kept going that was awesome and then it had the typical mistake where it always stops and slows down for an area that does not have a stop sign or anything. Nobody behind us. But look at this. It's slowing down for what? For nothing. There's no traffic light. It says apply slight force to the steering wheel. Okay, I'll do that. And then it goes. So it actually came to a complete stop for like a phantom stop sign. There's no stop sign there. Not sure if it's a maps issue or what, it, what happens there, but it continues to be a problem. And then it also had an issue getting into the Dunkin' Donuts parking lot. Second trouble spot is right here getting into this parking lot. So take a look here. This is right where we need to go. Turn signal goes on. Let's see if it can do this. And no, it's missing it. So actually a disengagement, not even an intervention. Again, not new. This has existed for a while. In fact, I think it first started happening with version 11.3.4. It could have been with 11.4, the 11.4 branch, but that has been an issue for a while. And then the last test that I put it through is a very difficult unprotected left, and it crushes it. This, again, made me clap out loud. I was very happy. Hopefully it does okay. Here comes a car here, giving them enough of a gap. Good. Okay, great. Now we've got all this traffic coming here. It's going to have to go out. Okay, it's hesitating. And I'm looking on my right. It looks pretty clear coming out. Good. This is the right thing to do. Okay, on the right side, really hard to see the traffic, but it was clear. And it took it, and now it needs to get all the way over. Very difficult to get all the way over. Look at this. One lane. Two lane. It needs to go even one more. It's a green light. Nobody behind us. Well done. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Uh, you got to hand it to it. Overall impressions with this latest version of beta, although I didn't test it in busy intersections with a lot of pedestrians, which I know there have been a lot of improvements. I'll get to that later this week. Overall impressions, I think it did great. I don't notice any significant differences other than it being maybe a little bit more assertive, but the unprotected left turns never fail to amaze me. You know, there are times when it makes mistakes, but all in all, it does a really great job. I think it's improving. And it, before, it would never, ever be able to get all the way over to the right, as you saw with that last maneuver. So very pleased with that. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another beta video. My name is John. I document the progress of full self-driving beta in the northwest suburbs of Chicago. I have two fast food restaurants dialed in. I have the latest version of beta 11.4.4 that got pushed to my car last night really, really early. Well, this morning, really early, around 12.30 a.m. Central Time. Double tap down. The car is going to take off. Someone come up right behind us. I'm heading over to Wendy's first. The drive-thru is really, really fun, uh, and it actually goes right through the drive-thru, which is awesome. It's the only drive-thru that I know where beta actually takes you through there. There have been some improvements with this version to include better handling at intersections with pedestrians and overall improvements based on feedback, it sounds like. Unfortunately, I won't be able to test that in a, in a busy kind of urban environment this morning, but we'll see how well it does here, at least in, in, this, in this very simple area. So let me just uh, zoom out here as soon as I get a second. Okay, handled that turn really nicely. Car behind me, uh, didn't seem to mind at all. I mean, it, it, that was very natural. I didn't, I didn't notice anything unusual with that turn. But as you can see, it's taking me down a side road to get to the fast food restaurant, 
which is interesting. You know, normally I would go, it actually shows an alternative route. Oh no, that's the route coming back over to the Dunkin' Donuts. Of course, I have to stop by to get coffee. I'm a big Dunkin' Donuts fan. So going forward here, I, I usually would go forward all the way and then turn left, but it's ha- having me route in so I can turn right into the parking lot, which is not bad. It's not what I would do. And then after that, we're going to be turning around and heading back the other way. I'm going to predict that in this drive, we are going to have three interventions. That's my that's my guess. Okay, and one of them is going to be in an area where it slows down, thinking there's a stop sign. Ooh, it went for it. Wow, that was really assertive. Did you see that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, that gap was really, really tight. And it took it, it committed, and it kept going. That was awesome. Love that. Wow. I always say love that, but I, really, I mean, that was phenomenal. I, I got a little bit nervous. My foot was hovering over the accelerator because I was like, don't slow down. You know, sometimes if it sees a fast moving car coming toward you, the car will freak out and it'll slow down. It did not do it there. That was great. But there's a slowdown where I, I think it's a map issue, to be honest with you. It disappeared very briefly with 11.3.4. And then as soon as the 11.4 branch came in, that's when I started having issues again. So I can't imagine the maps got updated twice. So it must be something else. It's really hard for me to determine what's causing it. But it slows down there, and then the second intervention is going to be, again, I'm making a prediction here, is going to be getting into the Dunkin' Donuts parking lot. It continues to slow down there as well. The third intervention is going to be getting out of the Dunkin' Donuts parking lot with with a fairly difficult, unprotected left. It seems to get it right more than uh, more than it does not but it's a very challenging section so i'm going to have to say that it's going to be hard it's going to be a challenge let's see here how it does this oh it just missed it no <laughs> okay so it's it's going around it's going to go let's just make sure it's open okay it does look like they are open that's funny. So it's going around just to go back into the drive through So it hopefully stops here. Whoa, blew right past the stop sign. <laughs> I don't know if it saw it with the sun coming in, but it does see this stop sign. That other stop sign, it was faded, and it, w- it was obviously the sun is coming in. I don't know what, uh, why else it would have missed it. But yeah, it's, it's trying to get back around. I'm really honestly trying to avoid it in a, another intervention. Let's see if it can do this here. Now it's getting confused. Uh, going right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, I see what it's doing. But yeah, the cool part about this particular restaurant or this destination is that it will take you through the drive through And the folks here that that work the, the drive through are pretty fun. Uh, I... <laughs> I, I had I had a, an encounter with a gentleman that was really excited to be on film, and then uh, it turns out my GoPro had my GoPro had failed. Uh, there was a battery issue, so this time I'm using a, a different battery. And okay, here we go. Okay, left. It's trying to figure it out. Yes, this is it. You got it. Okay, hesitating. Okay, good. The speed is saying 10 miles an hour. That's right. Let's see if it can keep going here. Okay, the steering wheel's all over the place. I should have it here, and it gets really close to the curb. Makes me nervous every time. And here I will have to stop so I can place the order. So hold on a second, guys. Okay, it looks like it's some different people here working today, so I doubt we're gonna get any reactions. Let's see. They might see my camera set up. We'll find out here. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, thanks. They said it's too early for chicken nuggets. How can it ever be too early for nuggets? So as you can see, it's saying I can continue trip here. I'm going to do that, and then we're going to see if it can get us out of the drive through It does allow me to turn it on. Here we go. Let's double tap down.
Okay, so we're on the wrong side of the exit here. Thankfully, nobody in the way. <laughs> it went out just fine. But yeah, we were on the wrong side there. Had someone come in or tried to come in, we would have been in trouble. Apply slight turning force to the steering wheel. All right, we are off. So coming up here, we're going to pass a couple of traffic lights. And then we're going to have that slow down. So after the second traffic light is when we're going to witness this. And the people have... Because this, this is an area that I drive past every single day. And it's been an issue for a very long time. And every time I drive past it, I report it. I've sent video footage to the beta team. I have done voice uh, submissions, all, all of these, and it still remains an issue. So, and then someone said, hey, well, what happens if you're in the middle lane? Let's do that right now. I'll get in the middle lane. So after we pass this intersection here is where we, we run into it. So the speed limit changes here. So down to 35 miles per hour, and my 13% offset puts me at 40. Now coming up right past this intersection, watch what happens here. It's this area right here on the right side. Snow, Stonehenge or Stonehenge. Nobody behind us. But look at this. It's slowing down for what? For nothing. There's no traffic light. It says apply slight force to the steering wheel. Okay, I'll do that. And then it goes. So it actually came to a complete stop for like a phantom stop sign. There's no stop sign there. It's not an intersection. So yet again, I'm going to report that. So I actually did not need to intervene there because nobody was behind me. But I, I should count that as an intervention. Even though I didn't intervene, that was the wrong thing. It, it really did need an intervention. I should have stepped on the accelerator. But hopefully that footage where I, sh I had it come to a complete stop for nothing... Hopefully that footage makes its way over to Tesla. I think they're checking the footage a lot more regularly when the new versions go out. I, I could be making stuff up, but we'll see. Okay, so now that's the, that's the first trouble spot. Second trouble spot is right here getting into this parking lot. So take a look here. This is right where we need to go. Turn signal goes on. Let's see if it can do this. And no, nope, it's missing it. So actually a disengagement, not even an intervention. All right, call me crazy, but I'm gonna force Beta to do something very difficult here. It's in drive. We're gonna have to go straight through this traffic. So I'm gonna wait. And so that's a purposeful disengagement. I'm not gonna start yet. I'm gonna give it a difficult time with the traffic here. I don't. I, I want to make it challenging, so I yes, I am a little bit unusual. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and double tap down. Here comes these cars. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it does okay. Here comes a car here, giving them enough of a gap. Good. Okay, great. Now we've got all this traffic coming here. It's gonna have to go out. Okay, it's hesitating. And I'm looking on my right. It looks pretty clear coming out. Good. This is the right thing to do. Okay, on the right side, really hard to see the traffic, but it was clear. And it took it, and now it needs to get all the way over. Very difficult to get all the way over. Look at this. One lane. Two lane. It needs to go even one more. It's a green light. Nobody behind us. Well done. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, you got to hand it to it. It never would have been able to do that prior to version 11. Never. Not even in, in, the wild, in its wildest imagination, it would never have been able to. Okay, so uh, we're going to end trip. And proceed back here for the rest of the, the rest of the drive. So it does pretty decent there, I'll have to say. It does, it does a nice job, and most of the time it gets it right. And for that, I'm, I'm very thankful. It's just not something you can rely on today. And and, that, and that's okay. I mean, it's, ex, it's experimental. It's still beta. You know, it's a very difficult maneuver to execute, even as a human driver, to be able to find that gap and, and 
know exactly when to pull out. Very, very challenging. All right, so the rest of this is going to be pretty straightforward, but we'll give it a go here. We have some people coming. If I had been a little bit later, we'd have them right up here at the intersection. Creeping forward for visibility. Okay. And taking its sweet old time. Coming forward there. Okay, good. A guy coming out of his truck. Did a nice job going around him. As far as its behavior, 11.4.4, it's not conclusive. And you know, in a, in a short 20 minute drive with two destinations, you really can't come to a, a firm conclusion. However, I can say that beta has gotten better over time and I'm looking forward to testing it. I'm, I'm gonna try to get down into Chicago here later this week and test it out to see if it's better in intersections. It hesitates a lot around people and is just too slow to react. And in a city, you can't do that. So let's see if the release notes match up with that because they did say that it has better detection. I think it was like VRU. I, I, I need to look up what VRU means. But the, the pedestrian interaction is supposed to be much improved. So look at this. I love how it gets over to the right indicating that's just su super, uh, you know, natural. I don't want to say like super natural, but it feels great when it does stuff like that. And especially right there, every time I go through that spot, it, it gets all the way over to the right. So thanks guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed my video, hit the like button, subscribe if you feel like it. Thanks so much. And I'll see you in the next video.